Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning, everyone uh, who are watching this devotion this morning. We thank God for another opportunity to share the message uh, of God as we are still looking at being productive in the kingdom of God, where Jesus is telling us in Luke 19, verse 13, we invest until he comes. God is looking at stewards or servants who will be profitable in his kingdom. When we look at this chapter 19 from verse 11, as we read, we found that there are servants, two servants who had the good attributes or who followed the, the instructions of the master. And these two servants had the following attributes. One, they knew the deepest intention and the greatest hope of the owner. The hope of the owner or the master was for them to become profitable, to increase in the kingdom and to invest, to become productive, fruitful, to grow in the kingdom. The master did not just give them the wage so that they may just do the, or acquire the basic needs and at least wait until the master come like the way we see a baby bird waiting in the nest until the mother brings another one. But the master had entrusted them to invest because they didn't know when the time of return would be. So there was a great uh, delay between the master going and coming. So they knew the deepest intention of the owner was to become productive in the kingdom. Then these two servants also, uh, they were expected to run day-to-day -day affairs of the master when he was away, to take care of the mina, to take care of the master's uh, things because they were not theirs. So they knew very well that it is we who have been entrusted with these things. They also knew that at the end of it all, they must be accountable. And that is why the Bible is recording that they worked, they multiplied, they increased so that the master's estate or the master's kingdom would not suffer loss. We are also called as stewards and we have been given the responsibility and this is the responsibility of becoming investors. An investor has nothing else apart from gaining profit. That is what is the driving force of them waking up very early, uh, reporting to work very early, using their strength and their energy so that they can multiply. God has also given us ability to multiply the resources that he has entrusted in unto us so that we can become beneficial, not to ourselves, but to him who is our maker. And so he has uh, given us resources so that we may become productive. And there is no room for any resource to lie idle. There is no idleness in the kingdom of God. And therefore, as stewards, we need to use or to apply our gifts as an individual by taking care of our own self as an individual. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 and 20 is reminding us about our own bodies, that they are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We have been given this body. It is not our own it is for the Spirit of God. So the body is not our own. And therefore, we were bought at a price. We need to honor God with our own bodies by taking care of ourselves physically, taking care of our intellectual, our mind, taking care of our spirituality, that we may not be led astray by knowing the Word of God and following it, by taking care of this temple of the Holy Spirit, maintaining purity, avoiding issues that can destroy this body that God created, avoiding overindulgence in issues that can lead us to misusing our bodies, our organs in the wrong way, like becoming alcoholics and using drugs, avoiding issues that can make our bodies to be endangered because we are called to be temples of the Holy Spirit. 
Again, the Lord, who is our owner, our master, is looking at a steward who as a worker have responsibilities entrusted onto him and this person is ready to become uh, profitable. How do we view our jobs? Do we look at them as just a place we are waking up to go because we need to put food on the table? Or do we look at it as a God-given opportunity, service that we need to offer for the sake of the kingdom? How do we look at what God has placed on our uh, disposal? That business, do you open it just because you need something to eat? Or do you open it to glorify our maker or our master? To whom do we own all accountability? Do we know that everything that is put at our disposal, we shall be accountable? Do we know that not only being accountable, but accounting joyfully? Because the moment we account with a heavy heart, that one will not please God. We remember in the book of Genesis chapter um, 4, from verse 1, we find that Cain and Abel, they brought a sacrifice before God. And we find that the sacrifice of Cain was not accepted. And God was asking him, why are you coming to me when, when your face is downcast? So God will not look or will not accept accountability when we have a heavy heart. Therefore, we need to work with our hands. We need to do hard work. And again, when we are counting before our master, we need also to become uh, cheerfully or cheerful, or we need to come to God with open heart, with the joy in our hearts as we come to account what we have done with the resources that has uh, been given to us. So stewardship demands accountability for the outcome of what has been entrusted to us without loading it on others or manipulating others or blaming others on our side when we fail. The third servant that we read in uh, Luke 19, verse um, 20 to 23, this servant was judged because he was uh, loading accusation to the master. I knew you were a bad man. I feared you. I did this and this. You know, he was now trying to blame the master instead of seeing himself as a failure. So when we've been entrusted by our maker, let us be people who know that we need to be accountable. Let us also learn to spot lack of accountability because at time we just blame on others and we don't look at ourselves where we failed. It is good to know that when you have been entrusted and uh, as a steward by the master, you need to look at areas. Where am I failing? Where am I lacking accountability? One, complain. Many people will complain, I don't have time. Those prayers, they come very early in the morning. So I don't have time. That is the time I need to travel to work. That is the time I need to prepare children for school. We can also look, which other time can I be available to uh, be accountable? So when we find ourselves not having time for God, that is a area we need to spot lack of accountability. Another issue is complaining that we do not have adequate resources. Many a time that people will say, even at the place of work, but they have not given us the resources, that, but we do not have what we need to use. So people will load accusation on few resources. But God is looking at how can you multiply the little you have. When we start complaining on lack of resources or lack of items in the kingdom, then it is a way of lack of accountability. Other time we say, it's not my job. Like now we have been sent as missionaries. Once we become Christians, we need to know that Jesus said, go ye to the world 
and make disciples. It is a responsibility that was given to every other Christian. But people will say, that's not my job. It might be the job of the leaders of the church. That's the job of the pastors. That's the job of the leaders or any other person who is leading in different departments in the church. But Jesus gave us the responsibility. It is the job of every Christian to know that we have been sent to go ye to the world. Therefore, when we start saying it's not my job, that is lack of accountability. Another time, we say the master did not explain to us what we need to do. The boss did not tell us what we need to do. The Bible in Luke 19, we did not find the master telling the servants that I need you to do one, two, three. The master just gave the instruction, invest. The way you invest it, it is you as a steward to know that God is looking for profit profitability. How do I invest? So we don't need to complain that the master did not explain how. We don't know how, but we need to be creative in this kingdom. And therefore, we need to look at resources. We need to look at opportunities. We need to look at time. We need to look at so many other resources that God has given unto us. And no, it's me who is accountable to God. And it is to God alone that I need to give the glory by becoming profitable. When we become Christian, we are entrusted with the gospel, the truth of the gospel, and we've been sent to give it to the people. How do we disseminate this message of Christ? Because we are the custodians of the gospel. We have seen what is happening in our country today. People being misled by those people who are handling this gospel. It is our high chance to know that once we become Christian, we need to understand the word before we give it to the people who do not know it, because we shall be held accountable of the gospel that has been given freely to us so that we may take it to the other people. God has given us the word, let us use it for the benefit of other people. There are so many resources. Some have been blessed financially. They have a lot in their accounts. They have so many accounts. How are we using it for the glory of God? How are we using it for, to assist that less fortunate uh, person in the society? We've been given sharp minds. How are we using it to help those who are less in that area? We've been given amazing gifts by God freely how are we using it for the growth of the kingdom every skill given to you it doesn't belong to you alone it belongs to god and it be, should be used for the glory of god by impacting others who god are bringing in your disposal who you are meeting with daily when you are blessed with uh, a loving family a loving environment kindly Pass that love to those people who are lacking love. When you are gifted with so many other gifts that God has bestowed to us, he's expecting that we pass it to others who are less fortunate. So let us become good steward, even as we continue investing in the kingdom of God. So may God bless you all. May God keep you. May God go before you and settle Ah, your battles. May God fight for you. May God be with you as you proceed with investing in his kingdom. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.